Yo, what is going on? It is the fat man with the plan, the froggy man. And I'm coming live from Ryan's Brain. Yeah, man. So, how are you guys an explanation? I kind of just, like, started a stream the other day. And then I got a phone call and I ended it. Um, and then I haven't really been around. Um, so, I had a tragedy happen. I don't really want to get into it. But it'll just say it was a really, really bad thing. And, you know, it's really hard because I don't want to put out videos and content where I'm not, you know, uh, I, I like being positive and happy. And, and sometimes it's really, really hard to get in the groove after devastating news, right? So, um, I, I had to, uh, to stop. And I had to regather myself because you guys deserve Froggy Man at full Froggy capacity. And you know, it's been it's been a lot of stuff going on. You know, between Mrs. Froggy going on and all that stuff, and you know, there's just life. Life, life sometimes likes to smack you around a little bit, but it is okay. I say upwards and onwards. You know. Tragedy builds character, and you just got to keep pushing forward, and that is what I am doing now. So, without any further ado, let's get this show on the road. Um, I know you guys have been wondering, when is the Alpha Tribe getting back together? Uh, well, that would be extremely soon. Um, hopefully, if everything goes well, it'll be this week. Um, I know that we were waiting for the announcement. 6.30 in the morning? Huh. So, guys, I just got a phone call. So, there's been a scam going around lately where this recording calls you and says they are from the IRS. And they found some stuff against you. And if you don't call them back in 24 hours... The local authorities are going to come pick you up. I'm kind of mad. I'm trying to record right now. Let, let, let's find out. Let's call these scammers back and see what they have to say. I think that would be a fun thing to do today. Call some scammers. Let's call them. They're from uh, Mammer, Mammer Neck, New York. Let's see what they got to say to me. I'm, I'm super scared. I'm going to pretend I'm scared, all right? Here we go. Amazing music. Internal Revenue Service, how may I help you? Internal Revenue Service, really? Is this really you guys? Sorry? This is really the Internal Revenue Service, the IRS. Yes. I, I get a call saying. Yeah, I got a call. It's crazy. You guys said that you guys were going to have me arrested in 24 hours. My name's John. So what's your last name? Uh, Samson. S-A-M-S-O-N. Do you spell your last name? Samson. S-A-M-S-O-N. Samson. Mr. Samson, 
Benson, can you just verify your current mailing address updated with the IRS? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's 1224 Sycamore Street. Can you just spell that? Uh, S-Y-C-M-O-R Street. Lewiston, L-E-W-I-S-T-O-N, Idaho. That, that's it. What is this called? 8350. 8250? 8350. I mean, I'm really scared. I don't, I don't, I don't want to go to jail. I thought I did all my taxes this year. I don't really. Okay. The dash ID I R E F one eight five O. I repeat I R E M one eight five O. The reason why we are trying to get in touch with you is because there has been a lawsuit filed against your name. A lawsuit? There was a ransom audit conducted on your tax files. Oh, wait, oh. And the Treasury Department found and the Treasury Department found that there was a major miscalculation error on your tax file. Oh no. You were filing your taxes on time, but you were not filing the actual amount you have to pay to the government. Oh, well how do and I fix that? The government thinks that you're trying to defraud the IRS by hiding your actual income. Oh. Who filed for your taxes? Ancient. No, no, no. I, I go, I go, I go to that that place. You know uh, where where you give them the money and they do the taxes for you, uh, like H and R Block. All right. Well, understand. These are your taxes. Your tax files are serious for allegation press under your name. Oh. The allegation press under your name are violation of federal tax regulation. Violation of Internal Revenue Code, theft by deception, and the fourth, willful misrepresentation of information to the government organization. Which means under the Section 6331H, the IRS will mark a lien on all your assets, including your house and your car. I mean, wait, 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 wait. Your bank accounts will be frozen. Let me explain you. Once I'm done, I will give you a fair enough chance, all right? Okay. Your bank accounts will be frozen and you will be taken into a custody and investigated for 72 hours by the federal officers. Your social security number will be blacklisted so you will be not eligible for any further benefits from the government in the future. And the same will be notified to all the credit reporting agencies and your employer as well that you tried to defraud the IRS so they can seize all your wages. Are, are you sure that's for now me? Now since I have explained you each and everything, now since I have explained you each and everything on this call, now if the call gets intentionally disconnected from your end, the IRS system will release your risk warrant. And within 30 to 35 minutes, the county sheriffs will take you in a custody and investigate you for 72 hours. Oh. After that, you will be given a fair enough chance to hire a criminal attorney who can fight against the IRS for the courthouse. But if you found guilty in the courthouse, you have to pay a penalty charge in the courthouse that will be $95,000, <laughs> along with the outstanding balance which you owe to the IRS Orin, you will be kept in a prison for five years. Ninety-five thousand dollars. Wait. Yes, are you? Are, wait, are you? Wait. Are you sure it's for me? Courthouse. Sorry. Are you sure you're, you're, you? You. This is for me. Yes, because I have your case file number with me. I have just put that case file number, and I got your information. 
I'm, I'm, I'm looking at your past records, Mr. Sanson. I have not found any criminal record under your name. So if the IRS gives you an opportunity to resolve this matter outside the courthouse, what would you like to do? Would you like to hire a criminal attorney and fight against the IRS, or would you like to resolve this matter outside the courthouse? Well, see, so real quick, my name is not John Sampson. I know you're a scam. My friends call me the Frogger Man. And you are full of BS, my friend. You are not real. This is a scam. My name's not John Sampson. My friends call me the Frogger Man. I know what you're up to. You try to get your hands in my pockets thinking I am stupid. I'm not stupid. So if you want to send them to my house in wherever you think I live, you go right ahead. Oh, this is all fake. This is all fake. I know I'm speaking to Alex Prancer, right? Nope. Nope. You're not speaking to Alex either. You just you're just making up names. You You are making up names. Oh, you're full of baloney. 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 <laughs> ah, they're pushing the buttons now. <laughs> oh, oh, that was too funny. All right, guys. So, if the IRS ever calls you and says that they're gonna take you to jail, it's a scam. They don't. They don't call you. See, they send you a little letter in the mail, right? And when they send you that letter in the mail, they, uh, they. Uh, uh, they give you a chance to contact them, right? They they don't just call you and tell you I'm gonna do this ninety five thousand dollars, and then and then they get mad and start pushing buttons. They don't start pushing buttons. That is a scam. There's nobody coming to arrest old Frog Man. <laughs> that made me feel good for today. That's what they get for calling and interrupting my. <laughs> That's what they get for calling me and telling me they're going to arrest me with IRS. Anyways, I'm sure that didn't make her day very well. She's probably pretty upset. She didn't even know my name. She just kept making up names after that. Like, Alex? Is it? No, you don't even know my name. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a lot of fun, guys. Hey, you guys should all do that when they call. Especially at 6.30 in the morning. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know why they thought that was okay to do. Oh, no. You killed my last dino. I'm getting away from you. Yeah, so I'm going to dub in the other video. Because I, I tamed uh, one of those, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, uh the uh, um, berserker things with the cannons and then the uh, that turtle was getting too close to ride's base so I shot it thinking I could run away oh you, you can't run away from those turtles oh god oh he's fast oh and he hurts really, really, really bad. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh! He's still on me! Oh. Oh. Oh God. Well, there goes Black Captain Black Boulder. Goodbye, Captain Black Boulder.
In all fairness, though, I took one for the team. Those turtles come and get you. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Be part of the Frog Squad. <laughs> Sorry I didn't tame nothing. I, I, I kind of tamed something. Like I said, I'll dub this in my last video. Um, but, hey, I will be doing a lot more lately. I will be streaming some more. Thank you guys for being supportive of me. Uh, I'm going to be doing some stuff with the Alpha Tribe soon. We just got to get a, uh, a mod list going. That's been kind of hard because we're waiting on the update from Mark. And they keep giving us these BS countdowns for skins. We don't want skins. We want the new game mode so we can get going. You know, and I'll be I'll be doing stuff with everybody. With Alpha Tribe again. I'm doing some stuff with Riot. I got to do some stuff with some other YouTubers. I'm doing stuff, doing stuff with other stuff and other things. All right, guys. Well, you have an amazing day. I will talk to you later.